So if you want to start by introducing yourself and then your three shows to the camera, then Are you on ahead. camera? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. Here we go? Yep. Hi, I'm John Robertson. Um, I'm currently being told to stare directly into the camera and ignore the handsome gentleman next to me. I feel quite rude about this, and you should feel rude on my behalf. But he doesn't seem to mind. I can't quite tell. And now, to make it so it's okay for him to ignore me here today in Edinburgh, you want a flyer? Oh, look at him. Isn't that... Oh, you actually took it. That's amazing. It normally takes so much more work and threats of actual violence. Yeah. I do I do three shows. I've got uh, a nifty history of evil at 3.30 every afternoon, which has just sold out the last six days, which is lovely. I've been going to the Fringe five years, and it's just a great feeling when that happens. Um, a show called The Dark Room, which is a live action video game and sort of a surreal game show where people can win a hundred pounds and we give people prizes that maybe they don't want and uh, in fact they don't want and uh, it's just, it's great. And um, I'm Hamlet. I'm playing Hamlet uh, in an hour long production of Hamlet. And so yeah, Nifty History of Evil is at Stand 4, which is delightful. 3.30pm, the most picturesque broom cupboard in Scotland. It's just a great place. The Dark Room is at Underbelly Cowgate, 8.40pm every single night. It's just great, it's just an enormous bunker which would be fairly familiar to anyone who stormed Berlin in around 1945. And um, yeah, Hamlet is on at Spaces 54 and Space Jury's Inn, which are both lovely places and look a lot like Denmark when I'm there. That's what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> oh, do you want to fly? Yeah, I'll take Oh, outstanding, there you go. Um, do you want another one? Yeah, sure. Cool, if only I had ones for Hamlet. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. But it's going it's from doing uh, comedy to doing something. Is it a serious? I'm not saying that to mock your acting skills. I'm genuinely asking. No, is no, it no, no. It is. It is a, look, everyone should ask because the thing is, it's an hour-long version of Hamlet. Right. It's an hour-long version of Hamlet where every other character but Hamlet is played by two actors, and Hamlet's just me. So it's the most dynamic, strange, violent Hamlet you can imagine. It's wonderful. And no, it's not fun. With the exception of Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, who are hilarious, because they're both played by the same woman. Okay. Incredible. And so is it quite weird to switch to that? No, no, not really at all. Um, I mean, look, you, you've got to understand that even before, like, here we go, like with this one, right, I get up at about noon each day, okay. and then three and a half hours later, I scream, uh, for an hour about the worst people in history from the dawn of man all the way to the apocalypse right? I just have a great time and throw a whale at people it's really fun and then at 8.40 at night I turn into a floating head that sounds like Brian Blessed turn to people and go you are weak to find yourself in a dark room and the fact that somewhere in the middle of that I'm going to be a goddamn Danish prince having a nervous breakdown is no, no stretch whatsoever so anything like it's going to be very helpful for the transition between happy happy stand-up and no I'm a floating head why not I'll play the most difficult role in theatre that's great um, yeah. so, the best part is Hamlet doesn't have to wait in mine the audience doesn't have to wait Hamlet there's no indecision okay. it's wonderful there's still all of the existential crises but Claudius will be dead in 55 minutes wonderful do you think that's how all Shakespeare plays should actually be done yes in just an hour's time. Well, if at all possible. I mean, you know, you do the way you keep things relevant is you change with the face of the age, but without being really what, slavish to it. Slavish? I've only ever seen that word written. Oh. And slavish sounds like it's racist, so I'm going to go with slavish. You um, can have a go at the slavish. Or I, oh, can I? Can I have a go at the slavish? Yeah. I've been waiting many, many years to really take it to the Slavs. What? <laughs> This is why I was ignoring him before. This man is a latent racist, ladies and gentlemen. Please ignore his devil-like beard. If he had, if that head was on this suit, you would be convinced at this time that Jerusalem was on fire. I don't know what I meant by that, and the important thing is you said it. Now, <laughs> all right. What was the question? Oh yeah, something about. Oh yeah. Yeah, no. It, I, I think it's. I think it's perfectly fine. I used to when I would come to the French. I would go. This is crazy. How can shows be an hour long? That's crazy. That's you know. That's so short. Because I, I was brought up on musicals. Musicals go two and a half hours with an interval. An hour is the perfect amount of time for a human being to sit and watch another human being do anything. It's like the kind of tagline for your show. No! Oh my god! Why on earth would it be? That should be the tagline for the fringe. No! You think I do easy shows? I've got one where I'm a floating head, one where I do a nifty history of evil, and one where I do Hamlet's entire nervous breakdown in an hour. Also, you hear this talking? This isn't cocaine, mate. Just tired. Okay, that's great. Well, yeah. thank you very much for your <laughs> You're time. lovely. It's a great pleasure. Thank you very I'm much. I'm going to go kill my uncle, and if he touches my mother again, there'll be trouble. <laughs>